Coming five days after the Supreme Court dismissed PDP and Labour Party's appeal against President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, is addressing the media officially to break the silence and air his view on the judgment. What we are currently dealing with is bigger than one or two presidential elections and is certainly bigger than Atiku Abubakar. It is not about me. It is about our country, Nigeria. It is about the reputation of Nigeria and Nigerians in the eyes of the world. We showed incontrovertible evidence that Bola Etinibu was not qualified to contest the presidential election because he forged the qualifying academic certificate which he submitted to INEC. In fact, a simple check on Tinibu's past records in his possession would have shown INEC that Tinibu broke the law and should not have been allowed to contest the election in the first place. For naysayers, the former vice president is quick to announce that he is not about retiring from Nigerian politics, neither is he going on exile, but he is prepared to join like minds to enthrone true democracy. The alarm raised by Justice Mohammed and recently former INEC chairman Professor Tairu Jaga offer Nigerians an explanation into why the electoral and judicial system have become the lost, not the last, but the lost hope of the common man. Judges are no longer appointed based on merit, but are products of the interplay of politics and nepotism. Atiku maintains that the election was compromised by the electoral umpire, INEC, and he is calling for electoral reforms in four core areas, such as making electronic voting and collation of results mandatory, ensuring that all litigations arising from a disputed election must be concluded before the inauguration of a winner. Thirdly, ensuring that a presidential candidate earns 50% plus one of valid votes cast. And fourthly, ensuring a single six-year term for presidential candidates. For as long as I breathe, I will continue to struggle with other Nigerians to deepen our democracy and rule of law. He also emphasized the need for electoral amendments and rotation of presidency across the six geopolitical zones, including the democratization of governance in the federal capital territory to allow for the election of a mayor as earlier proposed by the 1995 Constitutional mm -hmm. Conference. It is recalled that the Supreme Court last Wednesday dismissed Atiku's appeal and that of Peter Obi of the Labour Party. Mary Chinda, Arise News.